Hey everyone, welcome back. We're headed out for some errands and we are starting our vlog a little late night because I'm going to be showing you our nighttime routine. So we are on our way to grab some coffee. Wilder earned a special cheeseburger. That is usually what he likes to choose, right buddy? And we are headed up to get some things for the coop. It's supposed to be negative 12 tonight and we have the heat lamp, but I just want some straw and maybe just an extra tarp with uh, jump rings in it. I, I don't even know what they're called anymore. Everyone calls them so many different names, but uh, so we can wrap the coop again is the goal. So it's a little bit busy out. We had to leave a little later. Uh, husband's schedule switched again. I know he might be surprised, but uh, we are just trying to navigate that right now. So the girls are sleeping as you can tell, and we're going to just take you with us and show you what we do for our nighttime routine. Uh, I'm gonna be solo mom in it tonight. That's typically what I'm doing just because of the uh, schedule changes and things like that. So if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. We don't usually start off in the car like this, but this is my only chance to get a silent little intro. So I'm gonna take it while I can. But if you are new here, hi, hello. I make videos three to four times a week all about motherhood. We do things on a budget. We live in Northern Colorado. I have three sweeties at home and I am a newly stay at home mom. I used to be a teacher, but not anymore. So we are just homesteading, homeschooling out here in Colorado. Love it. If you hit the subscribe button, let me know if you are excited for a nighttime routine. This is going to be our winter nighttime routine. So we are going to head up, take you to the store with us, show you what the haps are up at uh, the chicken feed store. I know that's really exciting for some of you. Others, not so much, but let's get going. I'm excited. It was very windy out today. Let me just say that, but I am so happy happy you are here. Thank you so much for all the love on the last video. All the comments are just always so kind and I love it. If you didn't know, I have two channels and that's not always the case on the other channel. So I have just felt so happy here on this channel. So like myself and I feel like I can be real without any judgment. So I appreciate all of you. Let's run these errands. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I do a small iced coffee? with no cream, no sugar, but can I do a half a pump of the mocha? Can I do a uh, water and um, a whipped cream uh, straw or cup if you have one? What did you want sprinkles on the whipped Yeah, did you hear him say that? No. Oh, he, so he just said it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I never make promises in, to them, yeah. <laughs> it's really kind of you guys to do that. Of course, and if you want to leave a second. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thank you. Super warm. Uh, well, it, it's a maternity jacket. Pink blush maternity. <laughs> so much room. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Holy cow, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. You too. See ya. In a little bit, honey. She can't have one because she's sleeping, honey. Yeah. But we'll get her a treat here at the store. What store? A whole cup of whipped cream. At least the sprinkles are dye free, huh? Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. Whipped cream in my hair? Solid. Come on in. to the next store. Wilder chose Culver's, so we are waiting, 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 huh? Where's Culver's? We are at Culver's, the blue cheeseburger store is what he calls it. I'm sipping on happy juice and I'm not getting fast food. I don't like that it's the motivation for good behavior, but I will take what I can get at this point, you know, and he is eating. Culver's is a little better than your typicals, right? Yeah, like he knows, right? Okay, Millie is awake, so maybe she will eat some of this steamed broccoli. That was a yawn. <laughs> she might be the most dramatic one, huh? Hello, Hi. 995, do you need a receipt? No, thank you. Perfect, Perfect. have a good rest of your day. Thanks, you too. Big Metallica song that Ray 
doing the facials. We are home now. First thing I did was just pop some food in the microwave. I have the quinoa bowl from the last video. There's sweet potato, onion, Brussels sprouts, chicken sausage, barbecue sauce, and a little bit of sour cream. And I have some water from the store. The kids are gonna watch like, I don't know, a half hour of a movie here. And then we're gonna start getting cleaned up. The second thing I do after I eat, as soon as I get home is get a, a comfier pair of leggings on. I know that sounds silly, but they're just too tight right now. So I'm going to get some comfy sweats on, some coziness happening, and I will catch up with you here in a second. All right, Millie and I are going to head upstairs quick, right? Oh goodness, so dark. So, oh, there we go. So I'm going to change now. Millie is probably going to have her first of a thousand feeds. I feel like she's uh, nursing around the clock. I don't know if it's a, I don't know. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm getting my cycle back and I'm losing, I guess, the quality of my breast, of my breast milk. I don't know. You, you tell me what you think. It could be, look how pretty she is. Yeah, look how pretty. <laughs> it could be that she's going through a growth spurt, but I always feel like she's so hungry. She's my biggest eater, which I'm thankful for because it took a while to get here. When I had Wilder, I was a mess with how he didn't eat. And I was a first time mom. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping she continues to eat, but I'm hoping my body can keep up to produce. That's why I'm trying to keep my health in check. I'm you know, uh, I'm moving towards a more fit lifestyle. So I, I do want to lose weight, but at the same time, I cannot, at the same time, I can't sacrifice the calories of food. So yeah, right? You need to eat, huh? She has these beautiful blue eyes. She's our first baby with blue eyes. She looks just like my mom and uh, my mom's dad. So I think it's just the cutest little face, huh, girlfriend? Yeah, <laughs> I am looking out right now. I'm just looking at the birds to see what they're doing, how they're feeling, but I have to bring their heat lamp out to the coop and I totally forgot we had a tarp, which is great because I might have forgotten my wallet. I had a free coffee from the uh, store that I go to. It's called Lyft if you're in the area. It's in Johnstown technically, but I think they have one in Utah or Arizona or something like that. It's very, very yummy. And then we went to Colbert's because I had a gift card for there. So I was all set and I didn't think anything of it. And we ended up uh, not being able to go to the store because I totally forgot my wallet, which happens often to me. I'm going to try and keep my head on better. I did have my happy juice kind of earlier in the day. And I think, I think that's where my wires got crossed so I'm gonna get some comfy clothes on here and we are gonna begin our little nighttime routine it is beautiful out look at that what are you oh a hawk oh gosh okay that was the hawk that I was talking about earlier but very beautiful sunset happening right now the birds are okay the girls are okay I'm out of breath because I was just jumping around with Mills Someone had a small accident. Not gonna name any names. So I got questions before uh, the EcoSense line. They have the pre-spot treatment and that's great because I have a whole car seat in here. You know what I mean, the fabric of the car seat. So I'm just spraying a little bit on those stains, maybe a lot of it, like two, I guess, two, right? And then we're doing a little bit of the Island Breeze EcoSense. And this is like pretty concentrated. I have a feeling my husband uh, threw out the whole pump. So I will have to order another one because it was trash day. Uh, that is okay. That sometimes happens when there's not a whole lot of communication because we don't get to see each other that much. But you know, you learn, learn to live with it and we have a beautiful quality of life. So I used to be pretty resentful of his schedule, but I but I'm learning to just embrace it and, you know, uh, I guess see it as just a little time period in our life. So I'm going to put this on a, I guess, regular rinse with hot, large start, and then uh, that should be good to go. I might even rinse it again because it was a pretty big accident, but that's okay. Eating Mills, this is her new way of eating. She's twisting, turning, going all over the place. I remember Delilah used to do this and... 
Whew, she's a trip, huh? As long as she's getting what she needs, but it's a little tricky. So we are going to get on with our night here, maybe make just a bit of dinner later on, but I think we'll go play, make some hot cocoa, right? Right. Oh, he's sleepy. That's a first. That is a first, if you know my why. So the plan is to show you our little routine. It does not go like this all the time, but we're going to try and keep it routine-like. I've been wanting to show you this updated one for a while now. So, yes, welcome if you're new. Do you love brother? He's so sweet with you. Oh, oh, what happened there? Nope, she said, not happening. Okay, we are gonna do some leftover makeovers when it comes to uh, our dinner tonight. This could even be a fridge clean out, but we have all of this spaghetti squash left over. So I'm gonna put that with some red lentil spaghetti pasta. We have a little bit of the rouse, reos, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna fill that up with a little bit of water and then a touch of Alfredo sauce and make like a rose sauce. We're gonna serve it with some cut wax green beans because Millie really loves those and call it good we will grab some meat you know uh tomorrow to thaw out but i totally forgot and sometimes we just don't have all of our ducks in a row when it comes to protein but we had plenty of it today for breakfast and lunch so millie needs me right now and i am gonna get this started thank you my brother has informed me that he will not be eating this brown, so I'm gonna do my best to get it off. It's not anything big, it's just some of the olive oil that got overcooked, or some of the spaghetti squash that got overcooked in olive oil. But yeah, I like to bake squash, uh, you know, from time to time. Grew this in the garden, which is, hey, get along please, thank you. Grew this in the garden this year and we so yes yeah, sorry had to break that up uh grew this in the garden this year but we have pumpkin over there we have butternut squash we have lakota squash uh sweet meat and we just love having squash on hand in the winter time it adds some nice nutrients and uh some really nice sauces i love pumpkin cream sauce so we'll probably do that here coming soon but i'm gonna get this going i'm gonna just cook this up and it's really easy i just pop this all in the oven with this on the side i'll show you how i put it together and then we sprinkle some cheese on top. Very simple weeknight dinner. Okay, so I have the sauce and then I have some water in there and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Alfredo sauce in here. So all these whiskey bottles here. Uh, my husband did something really cool and he's getting an award for it. Um, he was very helpful with a young man's life and I am very proud of him. So uh, in, in his honor, a bunch of people got uh, my husband... Um, so not in his honor. Well, I guess so. In my husband's honor, a bunch of people got him his favorite whiskey. So I'm maneuvering all these bottles here. I really want to use some to infuse some vanilla and or uh, make a tincture, but he said no. So here they are. Here they sit. But besides the point, I'm taking the sauce, our little rosé, and I'll pour it into my spaghetti squash. And then I'm going to put my pasta in there, put some cheese on it, and mix it up so we can have some yum, for dinner. Yum. Yeah, it looks so good, right? What is that thing? Uh, well, yeah, it's a piece of a tomato, but um, yes, very, very simple. Again, I will show you the finished plate. I don't have an exact recipe. Leftover makeovers are typically what we're doing because I can't stand food waste, and there's a lot of that when you have uh, the, I guess, ages that I have. So yes, I'm gonna mix this together. I'm so looks, excited what's it going to taste. Yeah, uh, it looks really, really yummy. And then we'll have some wax beans on the side. I wish they were organic, can't find any anywhere. I don't like the taste when I grow them. So maybe when I get a pressure canner, I will like them better, but smells good, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, we'll see you for the final plate. Okay, here are the kids' little dishes. They like having it in these mugs, but it's just the pasta with beans and they usually have milk. And then Millie's is cooling off here. She will have the same. She's working on her beans now. And I usually eat kind of by myself later in the night. I'm not hungry at this point. So that is the plan. I'm gonna get them going and then uh, start on some dishes or laundry. I usually try and start on something while they're all awake and then I do the rest when they go to bed. Ready? Whoa, whoa! That was a great spin. Oh, you just want to hold my hand. Oh, a bow? Very nice. I love it. I'm going to start a bath for Emmy. She just kind of does her own thing, or sometimes she'll go with Delilah, but honestly, it's easier if I just do them separately. Uh, this is the Tear Free Koala Pals Body Wash from the Wellness Company. 
Love this, really great ingredients, and it works for all the kids. Okay, Emmy's splashing around here. I'm pretty lucky that most of my kids really love all of, not most of them, all of them really <laughs> love the water. So they just like to play in here. But I have gotten questions in the past and that is, do I do I bathe the, the kids every day? And it's, it's a no, it's a no for me. I've gotten a lot of flack for that. Is that the term flack? A lot of flack for that in the past by friends and sometimes even family members. And it's just not good for the skin's microbiome is my understanding. I don't bathe every day. I think it really depends what kind of, you know, work you're in, scenario you're in, what makes you feel good. Honestly, it's up to personal preference, but my kids aren't playing in like toxic chemicals all day. They do play outside and we wash up accordingly, but uh, we don't do baths every single day. But if we are doing a bath, we definitely try and do pasta night during that bath time, especially for the babies. So that is what we're doing here. And I love the Koala Pals because it is tear free, but if I am not using that, I will use the Castile soap. I've just noticed that the Castile soap, if I don't dilute it as like much as possible, it definitely irritates the children's skin and you know, that makes me super upset. So I'm gonna sit in here uh, while Emmy plays and then Delilah's next and then Wilder's last. Uh, we do jammies, you know, ears, fingernails, hair, uh, and then we start winding down. So I'm not gonna film that part, but I will film us kind of winding down and show you what I like to do for bedtime now with three uh, by myself, because sometimes it gets a little bit tricky and then I'll fill you in on what my husband does when he's here, because uh, sometimes he is here and it's really helpful to have him. Okay, we are ready. I forgot to mention, it's just sometimes easier if we do it in cycles. So Amelia will get a bath today and then tomorrow it could be Delilah and then the next day it could be Wilder. And if you're finding yourself like overwhelmed at bath time, if they can't all be in the bath at the same time, which is like me, <laughs> they can't be in the bath at the same time, uh, that might be a good path for you to go down. Even if you're a working mom, that, that might be just an easier, uh, I guess, feat for you to accomplish. But I do know that why he's going to be six in October. He definitely can handle taking a shower on his own, but him and I, you know, read and things like that. So it's just time that we spend together. But what I'm saying is you could cut corners on time if you're by yourself. It just depends, you know, what your situation is. So I'm gonna get Millie's hair brushed here and then we're gonna get dressed and get her ready and cozy for bed. Uh. Yep. That's fun. So how about instead of the wider, the wider, Millie. Uh huh. How about go backwards, wider, mm -hmm. the wider, Millie. Yeah. How about we do that? How about not Millie, the wider, wider? Yeah. Let's do wider first today. Uh, can you get it for her? It's on the thing. Oh, in the party? Yeah. Okay, Millie is ready. She's just doing fleece, wow, fleece jammies now. But if she does some lighter jammies, I put a little, wow, sleep suit with her. So I'm gonna get her fed here and she's gonna head on off. So Millie's having the last little feed of the night here. And then she is gonna go uh, to sleep. I can tell she's super, super tired. I usually just do a little book with her. And then uh, we just sing a little bedtime song and she heads on off to sleep. She doesn't go to sleep immediately. I would not say I'm the best with kids' sleep schedules. That's really the last thing I prioritize. I understand that kids' uh, sleep schedules are important, but I, I feel like I did all the wrong things. I rocked them to sleep, I nursed them to sleep, you know, I, I laid with them, I sat with them. I, I didn't allow them to cry it out and that has, made things a little exhausting for us as parents, but it's something that my husband and I just really, uh, you know, agreed upon that we just didn't want them, I guess, alone, but 
to each their own, of course. You're gonna hear me say that a lot with this routine. Whatever works for you, works for you. And I am not casting judgment if you let your baby cry it out because you know uh, some of us have been there before and it's just something we chose not to do for our kids. So yeah, I may be up there for a little bit, but the kids are getting themselves together here and they will be reading some books doing pajamas. They luckily can do jammies on their own here and it's nice having them both potty trained at this point. Did anybody else forget to winterize their coop and now you've waited until it's negative 10 to go do it? No, just asking for a friend. Let me know if you have chickens or birds or whatever. Guess you can't see me, huh? Oh, the heat lamp is up here. What a tough life I'm living tonight. There we go. Now we need to find an extension cord. Oof. They're gonna be the warmest birds this side of the Mississippi. What do you think about that? Huh? Ooh, you're living the good life, aren't ya? So warm in there. Any eggs? Nice, solid, good job. For those wondering, we just um, adhere this to this clamp and then it hangs. The wind is covered by all the plastic sheeting that we put in. I'm missing this panel, but I'm not worried about the wind tonight. I keep an eye on it pretty much all night and you know, we go from there. It's supposed to be negative 18. So yeah, hopefully they're warm in here. Okay. This is what we have been using the Himalayan boot, uh, Botanique, is that French? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, bubblegum toothpaste bursting with foam flavor, no fluoride. We love this stuff. And then the kids picked out their toothbrushes. So why you have Spider-Man, right? And Deli has unicorns, of course, but she no. calls them, well, oh, go ahead. Louicorn. Louicorn, Louis Louis sorry. Louis no, Louicorn Rainbow. Louicorn Rainbow, right, okay. So we're gonna get that going, uh, but I was gonna say that the Wellness Box makes a fluoride-free toothpaste that we really like. So we're gonna be switching to that next. What's our beard? <laughs> Your beard? <laughs> Do the beard. Well, Do the beard that I don't I have to wipe it with a towel on my neck because it's dirty. Yep, get your neck in behind your ear. Oh, I'm so cool. I'm you, little Okay. So we try and have a clean room before we go to bed. So we're going to take a little five minute timer here. Get this cleaned up. We are very real life tonight, huh? And then we are going to pick some books and start reading. The bubble gum, Mom. Pink. Oh, oh. there it is. Thank you. I'm a trash man. Mama hid under her favorite cozy blanket. It's so dark and stormy outside. I feel so scared. Take a deep breath. And imagine somewhere right now. Right now. Somewhere right now. A giraffe is grazing on apricot leaves under pink savanna sky. Alma took a deep breath, a world of color. All the colors on these pages can be made from just three colors, red, yellow, and blue. They are primary colors. I want pink. Blues and greens are cool colors. These are mid colors. Okay, let's go. Someone put the books back. No, not Please, please help. Here's some real life for you. Had to, had to add it in, huh? It's, it's tough going to bed, isn't it? Sound machine on, light on. Okay, let's get tucked in, you goobers. Come on now. Okay, good night, I love you. So are you going to decorate in your house? No, I'm super excited though, okay? Good night, I love you. 
Okay, so I'm just coming out to check on the chicks. They're just like right outside there, if you can see, right outside of this window. So they're enjoying their heat lamp. And uh, my greenhouse, well, my mini hydroponic system is going strong right now, but I'm gonna sit out here and attempt to edit. I wanna look at some recipes. So keeping this entirely real, my kids get out of bed a million times. They need a million different things. So I will be going back and forth and not filming that, but I just wanted to let you know if you're struggling with that, I am right here with you. Uh, drink some coffee if you can and just go from there. That's probably not healthy advice, but it's just not with your sanity to make it an argument. If it's something that you want to work on, like a goal of yours, then absolutely. But it's really tricky for me and I've just learned to kind of live with it and accept that we're in this stage right now. I know that seems um, defeated or I don't know, sad for some of you, but it's working for me. So I'm just turning on my little fireplace here, trying to get comfy for the night and just getting ready to go back and forth to the room. <laughs> in more spirit of keeping it real, I'm leaving these dishes until the morning. I've been trying to wake up before everyone. It doesn't always work, but Amelia doesn't mind sitting here in the morning doing these dishes with me. So I am actually actually going to relax. I am drinking a spiked snowmelt. This is tangerine and hops. This is by Upslope Brewing Company, 5% ABV, 100 calories. My favorite kind that they have, they have an electrolyte series, which I don't know, it makes me feel like it's a healthier alcoholic <laughs> beverage. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I don't know. I like those and they have a grapefruit and hops and it's super yummy, but I decided just to go with this one this time because it was a little cheaper. So I'm going to sip on that and I don't know. I think that's it. Okay, it's actually not it. I totally forgot. I've been really working on doing my skincare at night. I feel like it's important. So I wanted to try these. I'm not really a makeup wipe type of person, but I've been trying to try out all of the products on the wellness box so I can tell you about them. I haven't tried all 500 products, but I've tried a lot of them. So this is the Say Bella Makeup Removing Wipes. And I've noticed pretty good difference in my skin. It really cleans the pores and it's impressive because some of those makeup wipes are like super toxic. I mean, they're wasteful makeup, makeup wipes in general, but I needed something that I could just quickly come in here and do. And then I just do chapstick and you know, I don't do any serums at night. I probably should do my vitamin C serum. Okay, and that brings us to this point. I am just editing here. I'm watching Jamaril. If you don't follow her, Jamaril Stewart is pretty awesome. Just admiring the Christmas tree. So I just had a little plate. I had olives. I had raw cheese, a little bit of crackers, and... Um, cucumbers and apples and that's usually what I do. It's an easy way to get in some protein. Sometimes I do like a deviled egg or beef jerky with it but we don't have any right now so I am just hanging out here watching that uh, heat lamp in the coop because I'm super nervous. As you can see very tired. It is 11 30 and Millie has woken up twice and she will wake up again probably at 1 30 so I'm going to attempt to upload this and then get the credentials in. That that way in the morning I can do my thumbnails and that's typically what I'm doing. I edit every night because I upload to two channels. I hope this little nighttime routine was motivational and I hope it was real. I see a lot of nighttime routines out there and they're really well made and just beautiful but it's just not realistic for myself and my family which I mean who can really say someone's routine is going to be identical to another but I wanted to bring a different I guess take on it a, like a point of view or just a vlog style instead of narrating what we're doing and I hope that was okay. So if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you do differently in your family and I will continue on with these vlog style videos. I will continue being real because a lot of you like that. So thank you for being here. I hope you have a great night wherever you are and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. And the best thing happened that is snow. I'm gonna go bring those bikes in I'm going to call it a night. Good night, everyone.